The great director Pierre Pasolini was also a film theorist, and he wrote about his own film theory in the cinema of poetry. And essentially in that piece, he's suggesting that film has a specific poetic strategy that almost makes it more poetic than poetry itself. One of the things he refers to is how in the novel and in poetry, there's something that literary theorists call free indirect discourse. And this is a tendency where the author, as Pasolini puts it, penetrates entirely into the spirit of the character and adopts not only the psychology of the character, but also the character's language. And there's many examples of this. Jane Austen is often given as a key example of a writer who uses free and in, free indirect discourse. Now, when free and direct discourse happens in film, it's not tied to language at all, and it's not fundamentally about language. What happens is that the connection between the author and the character in a novel becomes a connection between the director and the psychological makeup of a character. And so Pasolini calls this free indirect subjectivity. It's mostly a stylistic idea, I think. It has to do with identifying with the mind of the character and immersing into that character, not so much through language, but through the power of the look, which can come in conjunction with language in the form of dialogue, but it's not inherently part of that dialogue or any r uttered language and obviously not written language. Now, a concrete example of this is actually given by Robert McKee, who is a sort of script writing guru. And I read this in a recent interview on writingclasses.com. I'll put the link below. And McKee talks about how you could create um, free, indirect subjectivity using dialogue, not as an essential element to give information about characters, but to actually direct the eye or the look in the way that Pasolini is talking about. So instead of having dialogue, and here I'm quoting McKee, you would not want to have dialogue like, Mary, how long have we known each other? Must be over 20 years now, right? Ever since we were in school together. Girl, that's a long time. Um, this is just a bunch of information being given. Instead, what McKee says is good dialogue would be, Mary, for God's sake, blow your nose and stop crying. You are the same weepy child you were 20 years ago in school. It's time to grow up. And so what McKee is saying here, it's not really about the words. It's about how the audience's eye will jump across the screen to catch Mary's reaction while it indirectly learns the character's history it needs to know. And that's how the scene flows. So this is a kind of indirect subjectivity. And what Pasolini wants to say about this idea of free indirect, indirect subjectivity is that it gives cinema a double nature. So on the one level, we have a dominant material of the film into which the viewer's mind immerses at the level of the dialogue and various stress points of the narrative situation as we proceed through the plot. But behind this main level of the film experience is what Pasolini calls a second film. And this is the psychological depth of experience that McKee is talking about in the example just given. It's established through the way dialogue causes the eyes to move across the screen, following a character's look. And so it's this second level that Pasolini says that poetry cannot do, precisely because poetry has to do it through language and cinema can do it through the image.